Greetings, everybody. We have an amazing day today because in front of me, you better be ready and you have to better buckle up your seatbelts because I have in front of me Regeline and she also goes by Gigi. She's a motivational key, keynote speaker. She's the number one best-selling author. She's a life coach. She's a first-generation Asian-American financial expert. She's a Florida chapter leader for a World Women's Conference and Award. She's also host of the Walk With Me podcast on JRQ TV. She's also a domestic violence advocate and so she's a sexual assault advocate as well. And it's not over. She has the list and list of accomplishments of the certifications and the power that she carries with you. Gigi, tell me, how are you doing today? I am absolutely amazing. And it's such an honor to be here today. Thank you. We are so honored to have you. And you know, like, where did we meet? And how did we meet? Can you remind me? Because I don't remember. Yes, we met through networking via Clubhouse. And that is such amazing. The, the app, especially now more than ever, it's bringing so many like-minded individuals together. And so we're able to fulfill God's purpose for our life in regards to serving his people. Yes, and I really love that because if you have to pick and choose, you know, who you connect with or what, um, you know, uh, like topic you have to, you know, connect also and be part of. And I was so thankful for that moment because I have connected with you and you have, you know, you're bringing such a power, such a wealth and value to what you do, you know, Gigi. Where are you calling us from? Yes, Tampa, Florida. <sighs> Oh my goodness, you know, bring me sunshine. You know, we have like out there a little bit of, you know, rain, but we are enjoying it as well. I tell everybody, enjoy your free car wash because God is good to us. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing. So behind you, there is a message and there is a special image. Can you please tell us what is it? Yes, God first. That is the front cover of my book. And essentially, it's to raise awareness about the importance of having God first place in our lives. Understand, we wouldn't have all the issues that we have in society if people were to keep God in his proper place, which is first. And so my life transformed forever two years ago when I almost lost my life, death by strangulation in a domestic violence relationship while in law school. And here's the thing. I lost oxygen to the brain during that time. And the fact that I'm still here now and I'm able to utilize my skills and my knowledge, it's truly by the work of God. God has kept me here for a reason. He's utilizing me for a reason to fulfill his purpose for, for my life in regards to serving his people. So I understand that to the fullest extent, I stepped into it and I'm going to continue to serve his people on this new spiritual platform he has given me. That is amazing. You have such a voice, such a power. I've listened to your podcast, some of them, and you know, the energy that you bring, the guests that you bring the best out of them is just, this is a gift that you, you know, God had given to you to utilize your voice, your power. And tell me, what is the message? You know, what is your podcast is all about and how can people contact you with that? Yes, ma'am. So walk with me and God first. It's a sequence because what does the Bible say? The Bible says, bring my people to me. So that's what I'm literally doing. We have the hard copy of God first coming here, but this is the hard copy of walk with me. So essentially it's all about helping others walk with purpose. So even though it says walk with me, really you're taking me out because it's just me being utilized as a catalyst for God in regards to bringing his people to him. So you talk about the podcast, it's titled walk with me, walk with purpose to help others get unstuck and for them to walk with purpose in this lifetime and really understand the importance of having God first place in their lives. Yeah, this is amazing. And you know, we have so many instrumental people and I really like to follow, you know, the people who have put a good big value into our lives and, and uh, from a history. And the one person that really strikes to me is the story of the uh, Thomas Edison. And he's, you know, he before he died, he died with a, with a $170 million net worth. You know, back into what he died like in 1931, in October 18th, I believe. And he left this, but he also left value. And this is what he said prior to dying. He said that there is no substitute to the hard work right? So, and I know that, you know, we as a Christians, we also have to work hard, you know, faith is one thing, but what would you also uh, tell 
people out there about their value and what value would you like to leave to, to the rest of the world? Yes, I want others to understand the importance of a maintaining a resilient mindset, but also to understand to never give up. No matter what you go through in this lifetime, you need to get back up, get up. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. And you know, it's so interesting. And like you, people, we should say, it's so funny when people come to my, you know, like show, they usually use the word resilience. And this is what it is, you know, IP resilience channel. And then you use the word resilience because, and you just kind of challenged us or oh, get up, get up, stop being, you know, you know, men, you know, mentality of the victim, because you may have endured some of this, you know, discrimination, some hard work or some pain in your life, but the dead time is over. Get up, get up and move. So tell me a little bit about your childhood. Where did you grow up and what had made you to the woman you are today? Yes, Coral Springs, Florida, and I love it. And essentially, so I am a sexual assault advocate and a survivor. Uh, it happened when I was eight and as an adult as well. And so essentially that really formed the mindset that I have in regards to a resilient mindset. It affected my trust in my social relationships and others. But as I got older and after everything that happened in regards to me almost losing my life, I really came forward in a different light because understand this, I have become an ambervert, which means that I'm an introvert and, and an extrovert, but essentially understanding that my story is going to help save someone's life. So I came forward in regards to sharing that story to help others understand that you're not what happens to you. You're not your challenges or your trials or tribulations. You too can overcome. There's so much you can do in this lifetime. Again, you just have to never give up. This is just amazing, you know, like a uh, Gigi and I absolutely love, you know, I know I, I you know, I don't want to be re repetitive, but you know, the energy, you know, I gravitate towards people with energy and, you know, you can read energy, you know, you can be in the same room with the person. He doesn't have to say nothing, but you know, right. He has some kind of either negative aura or good aura. And, you know, like, just kind of like, you know, he's either positive or negative person, you know, not necessarily that is good for us or, you know, doesn't fit our personalities, but, you know, it's very important to work with uh, that. I found, found out to work with the workspace, workspace with the people who carry your vision, who, not just only have instrumental weight and value with uh, their education, however, personalities. So how, how would you comment on that? Yes, that's right. So you have to show up and be your own light. Show up and be your own light because understand that God has a purpose for your life. And you stepping by you stepping into your purpose, you can help others do the same. And understand this, that we really need to step into our purpose. It's very important so we can serve others. And essentially, you need to show up for yourself. If you really feel that energy with others, it's because they're showing up for themselves, one, first and foremost. And you need to be able to do the same because it's one thing if somebody's pushing you or you have a coach or a mentor, that's great. But you need to have personal responsibility and you need to be able to show up for yourself. And in regards to business as well, you will not have a successful business and you cannot be a successful entrepreneur if you do not know how to show up for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's right. I always tell people, people this because um, you have to be responsible for what you do, say, or think. As much as we want to fault others for everything that, you know, happens into our lives, you know, the outcome and how we respond to the events, you know, it also falls, falls on our, you know, our responsibility in it as well. And I know that um, I love this, I call him dude, you know, Albert Einstein, he also says this, that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking that we used we used when we created them. So we need to stop, think and rationalize, you know, what got us into the problem to begin with. And, you know, in the workplace, at the, let's say it's churches, you know, uh, families, relationship. So how can we get out of that thing? So I want to ask you things. What is your uh, takeaway from um, forgiveness? What is forgiveness uh, means to you? And how would you just, just talk about that? 
Oh, yes. Forgiveness truly matters. If I didn't forgive the other individuals who abused me in regards to the domestic violence and sexual assault, I wouldn't be the woman before you today. You need to be able to leave the baggage where it is, leave the past in the past and take the lesson with you. I'll say it again. Leave the past in the past and take the lesson with you. Because understand this, you you are in the present moment. You still have a future. So the past needs to remain behind. That's where it needs to be. Because you can't take that with you. Because if you do, you will not be able to shine light in this world the way God has fulfilled you to be and has created you to be. God is the creator of all things. You need to really step into your purpose, which requires that you leave the past in the past and take the lessons with you. Yes, this is the one thing that, you know, I want people to also know. We do make mistakes, but there's two outcomes from the mistakes, whether we either repeat them or learn from them. So that's the, I think that's, I don't know if it's a third outcome from the mistakes or not, but like you said, yes, leave the past in the past, learn from it and move on. What can you learn? What can you, uh, how can you grow from it as well? Because without the pain, we cannot grow. Without the, our past, we cannot develop as a person we are today and strength will not follow us, right? Uh, so I cannot sit in here and say, yeah, oh my gosh, my past was so amazing. Yeah, hey, you know, woohoo, that was great. No, but if I would not leave the past in the past, I would not be able to move to the person I am today. And you are the great example of this, Gigi. You are, your voice can reach millions and it does. It touches lives. It touches individuals. And what would you want to say right now to the woman who is stuck in her past and cannot see the future or hope? Your past will be your demise if you do not leave it where it is. Because essentially your mind can only consume so much. And I mean that in regards to you having full control of your reticular activating system and what you allow in your brain and your mind. So if you're going to have a positive mindset that requires you to leave everything behind because you can't have a positive mindset and a negative mindset together. It just doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to maintain a positive mindset, but you have to have those positive thoughts that are tied to it. So essentially, if you're having negative thoughts, it just will not work. You won't be able to move forward and step into your light. Again, you need to maintain a positive mindset. Uh, tell that woman, you know, some people are struggling with the mindset because the, everybody, you know, like we have like world is consumed by the mindset coaches, mindsets, things and that tell her about the power of the mindset and how can she get control of it, not a reverse it instead of having her thoughts controlling her. I want you to encourage her to have the thought, her to control the thought so she will regain her life back. So talk to her right now. Oh, yes. So if you're listening to this today, you have a three second to five second window to make a decision. In that moment, you need to decide, are you going to have a negative mindset or a positive mindset? So you control that mind shift. And once you are in that moment, you need to get quiet and just shift that mindset immediately. Because if you don't catch it, then that's it. You fall into the negative mindset. Shift that mindset immediately and maintain it. That's why I say maintain a positive mindset. I never say have a positive mindset because you can have a positive mindset, but then again, you're going to have to have that shift. Correct. You are in control of yourself, not anything else that happens around you. So what's going to happen now is something around you happens. You need to have that emotional intelligence and that full control of mind, body, soul, spirit. So when that, when those things do happen, you're in full control and nothing affects your mindset. Nothing in your outer affects your mindset. I'm glad you mentioned about, you know, in, you know emotional intelligence, like an EQ, because this is one of the most important things, you know, for the, to develop your own personality, to develop and, and strengthen your identity, who you are, because emotional intelligence is also going to carry you to get those IQ, right, those educations as well. You have to know who you are, your voices. And yes, our mind is such a machine that if we cannot 
if we do not learn to control it, it will control us and it may devour us because that's what it does. So I think switching that, you were so right, if, if she switches that, that mindset, right, and learn to control it, you know, with the three, five, you know, that positive things that will be just amazing. Maintaining, that's the key word that, that you mentioned that I love, maintaining the positive mindset and tell everybody, remove yourself from people, places, and things that distract you and affect you negatively because it can affect your life. It can affect your personality. So Gigi, you were just amazing. Tell us about your second book. Is it coming up and how can we, you know, get, get it? Yes. So God first is available as an ebook online. And again, individuals need to understand this now more than ever, the importance of having God first place in their lives. I'm talking about so many issues in our society right now, especially with COVID happening so randomly, no one saw it coming. And mm -hmm. the fact that here, it has caused a lot of business owners and people in general to really have to pivot and shift how they do business in life. And so essentially it has affected their mental health as well. We've seen a lot of the suicide rates going up tremendously, hence why I hosted the global virtual panel of suicide attempt survivors panel so that others know that they too can overcome. So we see people going into depression right now. People have anxiety, people are living in fear. Why? Because everything that they're focused on around them, that they're letting affect them personally or their mind, body, soul, spirit. Again, we cannot let outer things affect our being and our internal, because once we let that happen, then we know we are no longer living. We are literally leading ourselves to our own demise. So we really need to step out of it and step into our purpose. And again, understand this, when you get quiet and you listen to him, he will direct your path. He will let you know where you need to go next. If you just listen, just listen. After everything that I went through and I just got quiet and I listened to him, he literally advised me on what I needed to do. I got a pen and a paper out. He told me exactly what the name of my company was going to be. He told me exactly the names of my books, Walk With Me, God First. I said, really? Walk With Me, God First, Life Service Center of America? Really? And then you want me to create a podcast? And I, I said, okay. And I listened to him. He has a sense of humor, right? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I listened to him and I look back and I say, thank God I did because I understand his purpose for my life. And so many people's lives are being impacted by what I'm doing. And I say that in a, in a positive way, because I say, wow, what if I didn't listen to him? So I'm using myself as an example for you to understand that if you're hearing his voice, listen to him. You may not understand why he's telling you to do what you're doing now, but you will later on yes, so yes. listen to him. And here's the thing. God commanded me after everything that I did in 2020 and 2021, he said, I need you to host these global virtual panels of domestic violence survivors, sexual assault, breast cancer, human trafficking, suicide attempt survivors, and so much more in regards to mental health. And again, I said, really, really? And again, I understand my position is just the catalyst to bring these people forward and these stories forward. And so that's what I'm doing. That's go, go below this, you know, out of proportion, you know, because you're a fierce woman. And I love that God is using your voice to reach every single person out there. You know, the vision that he's giving to you, you know, that he's not done with you. You know, the books and podcasts is just the beginning of what he has globally has for you, Gigi. And I'm so honored to get to know you. So hopefully we'll be able to collaborate in the future. I know we're doing the podcast together. We are doing some kind of global summit together in July. So this is amazing. I know our roads will be crossed and I'll be coming to the you know Florida very soon too so we'll be able to probably see each other and stuff so girl your voice is just spectacular it's just the lioness is roaring that's what I like you're unapologetic that's what I want for people to kind of be out there to say what they think the, the things that they comes exactly from God because right now people are so timid people are so thinking it's not cool and I like what you said because this is exactly what I said on Sunday God has a sense of humor he's not a boring God you know he gives you images he gives you you know the the visions he gives you laughter he gives you so many things that you're like gonna sit back buckle up your seatbelt and just be ready for the right of your lifetime and you have been obedient to him and you're going to reap your reward very soon girl so I cannot wait to see what he's gonna do next with you for you and through you girl 
go and blow that. I am your biggest cheerleader, Gigi. So thank you so much for being with us today. It's not going to be our first first time because I know people will want to know you and we will be letting everybody know how they can find you. And that's what I want to connect them with you. And with, with that, we're going to sign out and we're just going to say goodbye to our viewers and wish them all the best. Remember, COVID is not the reason to stay back. COVID can be, can be a challenge for you to move forward and get over that mountain on top. Go for it. Woo! <laughs>